So here's a fragrance that I think was released in 2002, at least from the research that I was able to do. A lot of information online about the women's counterpart, but the men's version is called New Musk. This one is by Prince Machabelli. I found it online for like 15 bucks many years ago, so I decided to blind buy it. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on this inexpensive musk fragrance for men, so make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on New Musk by Prince Machabelli and I tell you what I think about it in terms of the smell, performance, longevity, comparisons, all that good stuff, I do want to start things off by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever I do upload future videos to the channel. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you took something of value from today's episode, it would really mean a lot to me. So like I said, I had like this cheapy designer haul many years ago, might have been in 2020 or 2021. And I just bought like, you know, 50 bottles or something like that. But they were like really inexpensive fragrances. And here's one that I didn't know much about. I heard the name of the company before, Prince Machabelli. This one is called New Musk. I know there's a women's counterpart. Now, as far as the men's counterpart is concerned, I think they have this one and they also have another one called Night Musk. So this is New Musk. And from what I saw online, the note breakdown was basically musk, blackcurrant, and sandalwood. There might've been like one other note or something like that. But throughout the course of this review, I'll try to make a few comparisons to other fragrances that you might have tried just to give you some context and a frame of reference. But let's go ahead and start things off with the presentation. So right in the opening, the first thing that you'll notice about this fragrance is the namesake. You are going to get this kind of overdose of musk. Now musk obviously comes from the musk deer and real musk can be a bit on the barnyard side of things. It could be a bit animalic. And for a lot of people, especially like the average consumer, not so pleasant. Now what we're seeing in the case of synthetic musks and there's a lot of molecules that kind of come together to give off like this clean synthetic musk vibe. I know ambretolide is one of them, galaxolide is another one. This fragrance gives off a clean musk vibe. This fragrance, as far as I'm concerned, is comprised entirely of base notes. I'm not getting anything bright or citrusy, anything that pops in the opening. It seems like there isn't much of an evolution in here. It just kind of opens up with this musky appeal to it. Now, I saw sandalwood in the note breakdown, and of course, it's a very synthetic sandalwood. I mean, you know, for 15 bucks, you're not gonna get real sandalwood. But I think the sandalwood has always been touted as being like this creamy, creamy, smooth, woodsy ingredient with no rough edges. So I think it is a nice compliment to the musk and cassis or black currant is also said to be musky. And I've tried, um, you know, the essential oil and it is indeed quite musky, especially on its own. Some people even go as far as saying it smells like cat urine. In the case of this fragrance though, it's clean, 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 right? You don't have to worry about any of those rough edges. It doesn't push the envelope. It doesn't smell animalic in any way, which I think is a blessing, but I do think it's quite boring. It's very minimalist. There isn't much going on here. I think this would be great for layering, if I'm honest with you. I think the effect that this might have is the effect that other fragrances like Molecule 01 by Eccentric Molecules or even Not A Perfume by Juliet Has A Gun would have, right? So think about the effect that those fragrances would have with the, you know, the Ambroxin that is in there. I know it's not, I think it's Cetalox. I'm forgetting the exact molecule that's in Not A Perfume, but I know it's ISOE Super for Molecule 01. And I would go as far as saying that I do think there's ISOE Super in this as well. A little ISOE Super, a little Cetalox, if I'm I'm not mistaken, a little, perhaps even a little hedione just to make it a bit more diffusive and, you know, increase the oil concentration. So here you have a lot of these fixative ingredients, a lot of these base note ingredients, and it's a $15 fragrance on its own it's nothing special, at least not in my opinion, right? If you enjoy wearing it, like don't, don't be offended. You know, I hope you continue to enjoy wearing the fragrance, but I think as long as you layer it with another fragrance, that sort of clean musky undercurrent with the sort of ISOE super, at least I'm thinking there's a bit of ISOE super in here that could probably bolster up 
whatever you put on the top coat, if you will, right? So the underbody, which is new musk, would probably give a little bit more life to whatever you decide to spray on top of it. So I do think it has some really nice things going for it. As a scent on its own, I don't think it's going to do much for you. If it lasted a little bit longer, potentially, right? If you just want to smell like you just came out of the shower, you want to smell clean. This one actually smells kind of similar to white musk by The Body Shop. However, this is a lot weaker, right? So white musk might give you in the vein of like five hours this is going to give you two hours right so the longevity for this one is um could be in improved immensely but with that considering or with that being considered I do find that this fragrance could serve as a nice sort of underbody or a nice fragrance to layer with something else if you want to increase the longevity of other fragrances but also if you want to add this clean musky component to your intended scent let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment now, first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, I think this one came out in 2002, and I think White Musk by The Body Shop came out afterwards. So I do find them to be kind of similar with this one being a little bit more on the weaker side of things. Overall smell, generally speaking, is pleasant, albeit a little bit boring. Longevity, you're gonna get about three hours on your skin, not great at all. As a matter of fact, this is a cologne spray. So this isn't even an eau de toilette, right? So it's very weakly concentrated in terms of the projection. It'll project really well for the first half hour within an arm's length. It became an elbows length scent right around hours one and a half. It became a skin scent right around hour two or three. In that case, you do need to um, apply again. In terms of the versatility, casual, hotter weather, perfectly unisex despite the fact that it's marketed for men. And I think this will appeal to anybody of any age. And I think it could serve anybody of any age pretty well as long as you're wearing it, you know, to layer with another fragrance, right? In terms of the presentation, not crazy about the atomizer. I think I saw somebody online said it reminded them of like a Windex bottle or something like that. The distribution is actually really good and the shape of the bottle is kind of cool as well. My final verdict on this fragrance is if you're a fan of clean, musky, sense something along the lines of like white musk by the body shop you like fragrances like not a perfume by Juliet has a gun molecule one by eccentric molecules and you just want like a clean musky vibe potentially something that you can layer with another fragrance check out new musk by Prince Machabelli it was only $15 so I didn't take much of a monetary hit but in any case I will try layering this with some other fragrances in the future and see where that gets me however for the time being I've been preferring Molecule 01 just because it's a mainstay. I've had it for so many years, nearly wore through my entire bottle and it's an amazing fragrance. So anyway, this fragrance, try it for yourself. If you're bored, if you have 15 bucks laying around, you have nothing to lose. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon and give this video a thumbs up. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.